Grappling has zoos around the world re-examining their animal enclosures. As News Channel 3 Center de los Santos reports, the gorilla exhibit in Santa Barbara is closed as the zoo prepares for new gorillas from Texas. The Gorilla Cave is one of the most popular exhibits at the Santa Barbara Zoo, but as you can see, the gate is locked and the cage is empty. That's what he wanted to come and see, the gorillas. So, yeah. Hi, Zan. You want to see the gorilla? Yes. The two male gorillas that once lived at the Santa Barbara Zoo have packed up and moved out of state to meet their match. And kind of what you might call the uh, gorilla version of Match.com. And Goma has gone to the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo in Colorado. And Kivu has gone to the Little Rock Zoo in Arkansas. And uh, hopefully there will be keeping the captive population of gorillas healthy in North America. Makes sense to me. I mean, if there's a Match.com forum in Austin or wherever, then by all means, <laughs> hook it up. But the cage won't be empty for long. Santa Barbara will receive two male gorilla teenagers coming from Texas in July. I've always just really enjoyed the gorillas, and um, we enjoy having the clear glass so that the kids can see close up. Unlike most zoos, Santa Barbara keeps a gorilla exhibit closed off to the public, with just a glass window separating the animal from its spectators. That wasn't the case in Cincinnati, where a four-year-old boy crawled under the railing, entering into the gorilla's territory. Since, there's been a public outcry for the silverback who was shot and killed by zoo officials to save the boy's life. You know, I think if the shoe was on the other foot, if the child were to get hurt, I think maybe a lot more people would, there'd be a larger outcry. It was really sad, but I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, children move fast, and um, I'm a little sad to hear the parents being made to blame. Santa Barbara officials say it was a tough call, but Cincinnati made the right decision, considering they only had seconds to react. Santa Barbara says that they are well prepared in case the situation should happen. We do have an emergency response team, and we do have guns on site, and we have a top-notch director of safety and security, and we are constantly running drills uh, here at the Santa Barbara Zoo.